Here we are finding domain and range of an exponential function. And they gave us a graph which makes it a lot easier for us to visualize what's going on. So the first thing I notice here is we have an asymptote at y equals 4. Okay, so that's going to be a limit to our range because it stops it from going any higher than that. So if I'm going to look at the range while I'm talking about the asymptote, the range stops at y equals 4, and it's everything below that. So that means it's going down to negative infinity. So our range goes from negative infinity until 4. Okay, Because that 4 is on your asymptote, it's not going to be equal to, so we're going to use parentheses on the 4. You always use parentheses for the infinities. For your domain... So domains are your x's, that's left to right. You're going to look at both sides. I don't have a vertical asymptote, so I don't have a limit to my domain in that capacity. On both sides of my graph, both the left and the right, there's an arrow. So arrows indicate infinities. So for my domain, on the left, it's going with an arrow, so that'd be negative infinity. And on the right, there's another arrow. It's going to keep going. I mean, it's going down, but it's also keep going to the right. So it's going to go all the way until positive infinity. Now, as I look on this direction, it says write your answers as inequalities using x or y is appropriate. That means they don't want the intervals. So instead of the range being from negative infinity to 4, we can say x is less than 4 y actually y is less than four because it's range and then for the domain because it's from negative to positive infinity there are no restrictions but since they didn't want the intervals they said write your answers as inequalities or you may click on empty set or all reals so because there's no restrictions that's going to be the same thing as all real numbers So for your domain or range, you're going to look to see where the asymptote is. That's going to be a restriction. That's either going to be the top or the bottom. And then see which way it is. Is it above or below, or is it left or right? Because if there's an asymptote, that's going to be a restriction. If there isn't an asymptote that affects that area, such as here our asymptote affected the y's but not the x's. So for the domain, you're looking to see, are there arrows on both sides? Does it seem to stop and not keep going somewhere? What's going on? And that will help you with the domain to be able to tell, is it all reals or does it have a restriction from an asymptote?